Good morning, Victoria's Life Church, and greetings from myself and my family. I am uh, Pastor Kelly Latimer. Some of you don't know me. Some of you do know me. I'm giving a shout out today to my OGs that are, have persevered for 35 years, and uh, I have so many fond memories of each and every person there. Um, but before we get started on uh, reminiscing down memory lane, I'd like to read a scripture real quick because that's what I like to do. The epistle of Jude in verse 2 says, May mercy and peace and love be multiplied to you. Beloved, while I was making every effort to write to you about our common salvation, I felt the necessity to write to you, appealing that you contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. And to me, that's the keynote of what Victorious Life Church has always been about to contend earnestly for the faith that was delivered to the saints once and for all. It's my desire and the church's desire, it's always been that desire to train up young people, old people, middle-aged people to be the best that they can be for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And uh, I just want you to know that I'm so very proud of Pastor Jim and Pastor Craig and all that they've accomplished in the last 35 years. Uh, I believe I was there for 15 of those years and uh, it's always been a blessing to me to be a part of what Vic Victorious Life Church has done. But I want you to know that we, <clears throat> our main desire when we started this church, me and Pastor Jim, was to train people up to be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. To believe that greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. That you would contend on a daily basis and fight for the gospel of Jesus Christ day in and day out. Knowing that God will never leave you nor forsake you, but he will always be there by your side and in you. The Bible says in John that he didn't leave us as orphans, but he's given us his Holy Spirit. So just know that the Holy Spirit is in you today and all the scripture that you've heard over the years from Pastor Jim or Pastor Craig or from myself, those are life to, to you. Those are the life that the life of Christ that's in you. And I want you to know that you can never go wrong by hearing and hearing and hearing the Word of God. Faith comes by hearing the Word of God, and I want you to know that that's what we're about. Victorious Life Church was started by myself and Pastor James Francis so many years ago. We were two young guys that had no idea what we were doing. But we knew that we needed to build a work for the Lord. The Lord had called us to do this. So together, as co-pastors, we started Victorious Life Church. And we have always striven to be to walk in unity and in harmony with each other. And to, to treat the flock of God the way that they need to be treated. Not beating them or berating them, but building them up, lifting them up. And seeing uh, just exactly what happens when a person completely surrenders to the Lord and to their Lord and Savior. But I have many fond memories of uh, Pastor Jim and how skinny he was back then and how somewhat skinny I was back then. And I remember the pictures from uh, when we first, our first building was at 15th and Forest. And uh, I just remember us standing out by that sign and then we moved to 2525 North Washington and we were we were standing we were standing out by that sign and we had our little pictures and our little suits and our little ties and we looked all dapper and whatnot <laughs> but i want you to know that <clears throat> to each person that's ever come in the door we've always tried to give it a hundred percent and a hundred percent to our lord and savior jesus christ to build them up in the knowledge of the lord and i i'm just so proud that th it's been 35 years and still going strong i'm very proud of you pastor craig for all that you do and all that you've done for the church and all the workers there man there's so many people that that i remember that have done so much work there and i just applaud them and i just i just i'm so grateful for all the help that we had over the years and just all the things that the lord has done there and will continue to do there and for the next 35 years if the Lord tarries. But just remember this. In Timothy it talks about. Realize this. In the last days. Difficult times will come. And you all need a church. That will teach you scripture. That will that will bore it into your spirit. To where you know. What to say. In every and any and every circumstance. And 
to how to walk in the peace of God and how to have the joy of the Lord, which is your strength in these last days. Because I truly believe, as I see the things around us going on, I truly believe that we are in the last of the last days. And God has a mighty calling upon the Victorious Life Church and, and in that specific area of the United States and the buckle of the Bible Belt, as they like to call Kansas. Uh, I live in Boise, Idaho now with my family and uh, it's, always, it's always too long before we get a chance to get back there and say hi, but hopefully uh, we'll get a chance to get up there in April this year and say hi to everybody and maybe get a chance to introduce myself to some of you that don't know us. Uh, my lovely wife will be with me. Flip around and show my lovely wife. Hello. And uh, but it'll just be a blessing, uh, and I just wanted to give all my appreciation to all those folks that have have labored for so long there, and I want you to know that your labor is not in vain, that you have a reward in heaven. And I want to tell everybody that I do not know that I I am so glad that you're at Victorious Life Church because I know that you're getting a solid foundation from the Word of God, and I know Pastor Craig and Emily are doing a great job there, and. And I just appreciate all you folks and all the time that you've put in. And and just, I just want to say that I love you guys and I pray for you and I want to see the best for you. And I just believe in the next 35 years, there'll be even better things coming. So with that, I say good night or good morning and have a great day.